I'm Susanna Schofel, and you're watching ATXLive.com. See my mind is a sponge and sometimes it gets too wet I bring it out, I go out and suck it up everything I don't know how I got started in music, it's always been something I've been into I think I knew from a very young age that I was going to be a musician, you know, it's not professionally Just throughout my life I was going to sing, to write songs, to play, so Your eyes, they look like earth with the green bud growing in the center like bird. I have been playing with the current band for I guess about two years, year and a half. Um, and I found them through kind of the glue that connected us was Eldridge, the drummer. I was introduced to him through a friend, and uh, <laughs> there's my bass player right now making silly faces at me. Um, and okay, so Eldridge is kind of basically knows every musician in town and kind of basically started going, oh wow, this guy would be great with you on bass. This girl would be great with you on vibes. You know, Lara Scarborough played vibes? And I was like, no, I didn't, but I love her. And you know, Brad Hauser plays Barry Sox. And so it all kind of like, it was kind of this family of musicians um, who I was sort of connected with. And, uh, and they all liked the music. They liked my album. And so they were like, sure, sign me up, I'm down. And I couldn't believe it. I was you know, super excited, and since then it's kind of developed into this nice little family, and, and I love it. I feel very, very lucky. See my dreams all come with a picture of you. The times when you're not on my mind, I feel you're gonna drive me crazy. I'm starting to fail. If I live for you, I already regret. Cause you're the kind of guy who's gonna waste my time. I'm gonna give you a dollar and you'll give me a dime. I don't see why you feel the need to be so damn hot. You're the star in the sky that makes the others dim. One that makes the other one's chances slim. Tell me, what trick did your mama pull to make you so damn beautiful? So beautiful. I'm really influenced by a lot of, like I said, different world musics influence me a lot. I think I developed sort of my guitar playing from listening to a lot of African music and a lot of percussive music in general. Um, I used to study percussion too, so I got really into just beats in general and, and exploring different rhythms. Um, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I come from such an, I mean, my, my family listened to so much pop and folk and, uh, and soul. So I feel like those are kind of the main elements of my music that really from a young age, everyone from Joni Mitchell to Stevie Wonder to, um, you know, ABBA and Fleetwood Mac and, you know, that kind of stuff really infused my sense of, I think, pop stylings and what, what a catchy melody is and what, what's fun to sing. from a lot of just playing out, trying to just get my music out there. And I've been really lucky too with like the radio stations. They took to my debut album really, really nicely. And um, so like KUT, KGSR have been awesome to me. And so that's that's played a part too. But um, yeah, a lot of uh, hard work and luck, I would say. <laughs> I'm friends with everyone in the band. I love them like family. So it's, it's sort of this really nice little like, you get to see this kind of warm, fun family unit. unit but performing on stage. And I think the music itself is, it's a little bit fun, it's a little bit serious, it's a little bit sexy, it's a little bit um, bouncy, <laughs> sultry. I, I, I think what people might like about my music is it kind of like goes a little bit here and there and everywhere. It's not just one thing. At least that's what I hope I strive for. And you should know you're the high, 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 high